and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some of the highlights that were released in June 2021. Just by watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination, I can immediately picture all the kind of games that I could build. This one is the list of paid assets and effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. Go watch those if you haven't seen them. Let me know which ones of these you're most interested in and I might do a detailed review on it. As always, there's links to the assets in the description and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also there's an awesome humble bundle happening right now. It's a massive amount of 2D art, so lots of characters, items and tons of modular sprite sheets for you to build your own worlds, perfect for using with the Unity town map, and it also has a bunch of music and sound effects. It's got tons and tons of variety, so check the link to see everything it contains. And the SSR Summer Sale is also coming to a close. This last week is all about the best sellers, so pretty much everything on sale is excellent. All the links are affiliate links, so if you use them you get some awesome stuff and you help support the channel. Alright, so starting off with a bunch of super high quality sci-fi characters. It's a pack with four characters, all of them really insanely detailed. They have a humanoid rig and 4K PBR textures. It includes all of the characters as well as a sword and a knife. Next up, if you need some gorgeous cars, check out this pack. A total of 7 vehicles, some normal cars, some sports cars, a truck and a van. They are easily customizable, you can modify the colors, the lights, the blinkers. There's two different visuals for each car, one in perfect condition and one rusted. It's a really interesting visual style, it's pretty much low poly but not too low poly, I really like it. Or maybe you're looking for a nice forest, here is a dense coniferous forest. You've got a really good looking sample scene, 17 unique plant variations, 15 trees and 20 rocks. Textures are all in 4K resolution, so really high end stuff. All assets are also optimized with LEDs, so this one would make a perfect starting point for a realistic survival game. Or if you're working on a superhero game, here is a great animation pack. You've got lots of flying, jumping, lasers, massive punches and smashes. It's a really great unique animation pack. So if you ever wanted to make your own Superman game, then this is great. For some effects, here is a bunch of VHS and glitch effects. If you're going for that retro look, then this one is perfect. Make the screen with all kinds of glitches like an old tape, or maybe add some roundness to the edges to simulate an old school glass display, or maybe add some simple scan lines. This one is a combo of two packs, so alternatively you can also grab each asset individual. Then for some great massive mountains, the Mega Mountain pack, You've got some really high quality height maps, all of them very detailed. Easily customize the visual, add some snow on the peaks and some grass on the bottom. You can easily merge multiple mountains to make one huge mountainscape. Ready for mobile and desktop on all render pavilions. Next up, an excellent pack, the Amazing Shaders Bundle. It includes the curved world package for curving your scene in all kinds of ways or making some round globes. A really good looking dissolve effect. Showcase your polygons with the wireframe shader. Make your scene super detailed with the advanced tessellation shader and render some translucent objects with subsurface scattering. It's a really awesome massive pack. For some general use case animations, check out this interactions animations pack. It includes 34 animations for humanoid characters, all of them with two versions, both with root motion and in place animations. You've got tons of interactions with objects, so things like climbing, jumping, ladders, you can pick up from the ground or pick up from a shelf, a bunch more general animations like pointing, laughing, dancing and so on, so it's pretty cheap and it's always great to have some more animations. Then if you want to add some rain to your game, here is a realistic rain effect. It's got 11 prefabs at different levels of detail and with different intensities, you just drag and drop them to add them to your scene. Also includes a looping rain sound effect, and it can be recolored by changing the vertex color, so you could change this to red in order to simulate some blood drops or something like that. Then for some great citizen models, they are cartoony but not the usual low poly style, so it's pretty unique. You've got tons of body parts and weapons, swap them out and create any character you can think of, or stick with the pre-made defaults, so you've got a police, firefighter, soldier, nurse, cook and so on. Then here are some more gorgeous effects, the stylized element splash pack, Features 16 different effects, everything from some normal explosions to some wind vortexes, some creepy acid explosions or just some lighting. All of them looking really nice. Or maybe you're working on a game where you want to place down some traps, check out this Deadly Dungeons pack. It includes 30 high quality pre-built traps along with particles and sound effects. 
You can also build your own by combining multiple trap parts into your own unique traps. Beyond that, you also have a whole bunch of security props, a bunch of cameras, touchpads, alarms, and so on. Really, it's a very unique, very inventive asset pack. You can check out the interactive demo scene and read documentation to get it started. If all you want is just a single character but in super high detail, check out this urban samurai. I really love the design on this one. The mask with the blue eyes, a weird gun and a bunch of katanas. Really perfect if you're making something in the cyberpunk genre. It's very modular, so even though it's technically just one character, you can really get some endless variation. Are you working on some sort of space strategy game? Then look at these gorgeous low poly planets. They are really nice with a really cute art style. You've got tons of variations to represent anything you want, so you can make some barren planets, some that are on fire, some nice green and luscious. You can add some rings, add some stars, some asteroids. I could see a really good sci-fi trading or an empire building game made with this pack. For something a bit more old school, here's a bunch of cave sprites. Build some caves using all these sprites, all in a nice front top-down perspective, kind of like Pokemon the Zubat Cave. So if that's the style you're going for, then here's a great pack. If instead you're working on a steampunk theme, check out this steampunk city. You've got lots of gears everywhere, a really cool car, some clocks and some airships. Just grab the demo scene and easily play around with it. Next up, for an icon pack, here is one. Contains over a hundred pixel art style icons. Includes four different frames, so you've got metal, gold, wood and copper. All of them in several sizes from really tiny to 256. Then here's an interesting one, a pack with some high quality electric motors. From some very tiny DC motors to some massive industrial ones. It's certainly a very niche pack, but if you want some motors, well, there you go. Next up, here is an interesting shader effect. Revealed the world in a really cool way. Maybe if your game involves living in two worlds at once, this could be a great effect to add. Or maybe just use it to show some corruption spreading or something like that. And if you want a ton of low poly props to build out some houses, here is a great pack. You can see on the screenshots just how much variety you can build. A total of 480 unique objects, also includes a bunch of pre-built rooms and a house. All of it using a single texture, so it's extremely performant. Alright, so those are my top 20 new assets on the Unity Asset Store for June 2021. There's a link to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Check the full playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of them and what you intend to do with them. Also, there's an awesome Humble Bundle happening right now. It's a massive amount of 2D art, so lots of characters, items, and tons of modular sprite sheets for you to build your own worlds, perfect for using with the Unity town map, and it also has a bunch of music and sound effects. It's got tons and tons of variety, so check the link to see everything it contains. And the Asset Store Summer Sale is also coming to a close. This last week is all about the best sellers, so pretty much everything on sale is excellent. All the links are affiliate links, so if you use them, you get some awesome stuff and you help support the channel. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.